Hey everyone, this is Ganu from Wings Education. We will understand today's concept that is right from dictation for listening for PTE module. Let us see what is the sequence of this question and where this question sits in your listening test. Definitely right from dictation is going to be the last question of your listening test. You might have three questions or four questions of this kind in your test. Definitely guys, I would like to mention here with a strong voice that right from dictation is known as the king of your PTE because it is going to contribute the maximum score. Here you see, right from dictation is going to give you around 45 to 46 band out of just three to four questions as compared to your repeat sentence which contributes 54 bands out of 10 to 12 questions. So definitely as the number of questions is low, Definitely one question of your right from dictation carries a very high score, maybe equivalent to one essay. So we will be very careful doing this question. We have to understand one more thing here that whether right from dictation is contributing only to one of the module or it is contributing to two of them. Definitely it is actually contributing the highest scores that is 27 bands in your writing and around 20 bands in your listening. So that makes it the most important question of all and we let's now understand the task description for write from dictation. After listening to recording of a sentence, you have to type the sentence back. The listening and writing skills are assessed. The prompt length will be of three to five seconds long or in other words, there might be seven to 15 words long sentence in your test. It is a high scoring question and you have seven seconds to prepare. That simply means before the speaker starts speaking, you have around seven seconds to get ready to listen. Then this is how it looks like. So definitely the scoring system says one word of a sentence marks you one band. So if it is spelled correctly, so that gives us simply a message that every word of the sentence marks one point. So of course you cannot miss any word because the number of words you miss, the number of bands you lose on your test. So we will we will try to make sure that if, it, if it's a seven, seven words question, you should be getting all the seven words right. If it is eight words, you should get all the eight words right. If it's nine words, so you should get full on full while you practice or you should attain that perfection in your test of this kind that in your final exam you are able to do it perfectly fine. Now there is one more thing that we need to understand here is what is the system of scoring? So for listening one gets banned according to the sequence of the words that's very important that let me give you an example here let's say the answer says one two three four five six seven eight but you end up writing one two three four five seven eight you missed six so you will definitely not be getting bands of the score of the words that you wrote after six that is six was missing so seven and eight will not be marked by the computer for your listening because of the mirror checking whereas for writing every word that you write in your answer be it seven and eight you will definitely get get some weightage of the marks in that question all right we have to be very careful with the writing standards so definitely your right from dictation is more strict in marking than repeat sentence and it is more difficult to get the sequence of the test done. So we have to practice actually this question every day, maybe 30 questions a day will be a right start. Now we will see what are the strategies. So the very first thing is you have to concentrate on listening in such a way that someone is giving you a message an instruction you follow it the way it has to be focus on the meaning of the sentence take notes immediately once the speaker is done speaking you can type your sentence after you have heard it connect logically if you have missed some words so that simply means you have to make sure that when you write a sentence there is a there is no grammatical error in it there is no spelling error there is no punctuation mistake and if there is any capital letter that is required make sure you put the capital letters of it as well all right that's it and now let us understand what are the two approaches that we can use to get this question done. 
the very first is known as blind approach what is a blind approach so blind approach means one is going to close the eyes focus on the given sentence follow it as an instruction and keep repeating until time so i normally ask my students if i say someone i say okay sit properly or else get out of the class so that's a very simple sentence i said the student will definitely be able to understand it and will start sitting straight so it was an instruction to a student he was able to listen to it and understand it very clearly the same way you guys have to understand the speaker and feel it like that it's an instruction for you and you will follow it later so in that way you will definitely make sure that you get the right sequence of your test okay then keep repeating until time that's a very important stage of your blind approach because if you do not repeat the sentence that you have heard you might end up missing some words out of the sentence but if you keep repeating in keep repeating it until you have typed it you will definitely get the right sequence and you will be able to pass the test all right now the second approach is the approach that works perfectly fine this is known as initial approach what is that it simply means you write down the first letter of every word of the sentence there is there is an example done for you that says people are facing financial hardships because of the virus so that was a sentence spoken by the speaker now you have taken down p for people r for a facing for f financial for f h with a hyphen s for hardships because with b o for f d for the and v for virus so in this way this is known as initial strategy keep repeating once you repeat the initials for three times then start typing your answer this gives you an accurate answer that 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 approach works really well for all the students but here i would like to mention i have mentioned this approach now i do not expect you to do it now only you have to be very patient with your write from dictations and this approach it takes time you can start with writing some letters maybe some few words you can use some shortcuts for every word financial that means financial you don't need to write the whole word financial you can write f i n c a l yeah then for because you can write b c s for hardships you can write h r d s p s so this is known as shortcuts start writing the message language shortcuts then you will you then again this is level 1 where you use the message language then go to level 2 where you make it more short and then level 3 will be the shortest where you just write one letter so be patient with the initial approach it takes time but once you have mastered it you will definitely be able to do it perfectly fine and you will have an accurate answer you can get 12 on 12 15 on 15 for your write from dictation so this is it if before we leave this session you have to remember some rules for dictation it says you should put capital letter and full stop are crucial rule of numbers you will write dates and figures rule of comma whenever there is a silent pause you have to put a comma so with this we are done for the lesson how about thank you very much guys if you have thank you very much guys if you have any further questions you are always welcome to ask us on wings education and the links are on the screen you can always follow you can contact us on our website or on our numbers